Well, good morning. It's day 40 on the Camino del Norte. A uh, short day today, 15 kilometers, about nine and a half miles. Um, I am getting a really early start, not because of the distance, but because of the heat coming in. So I want to make sure that uh, I kind of get my stride and get there before the heat. Even if I have to wait to check in, that'll be okay. So, foot feels good. Just a little tight right now, but it'll loosen up. Ah, uh, it feels so nice though. Full moon last night, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, let's get going. Well, there it is. 99.994 kilometers to go. You can see people have uh, left their mementos here. All right, this is it. We are at the big milestone. A ah, little bit of fog. Feels really good right now. Uh, so, every day is getting shorter now as far as uh, distance to Santiago. Now, since we have passed the 100K mark, uh, depending on your source, um, you need to get two stamps a day in your pilgrim passport. That's uh, proof that you have indeed walked. I typically get three, maybe four some days, depending on where I'm at. So that won't be a problem. Ah, okay, let's keep going. Well, that was an interesting uh, little group of structures I came upon. So, came off the highway, crossed the railroad trestle, went over the bridge across the river, and into the forest on rocky dirt path. And I come around a bend, and there is a church. Ah looks very old. I didn't see a date on it. Um, and of course I couldn't get in and get any pictures. Uh, so I don't know what it looks like inside, but there was a sign on the door. So it looks like they still do mass on the weekends. And, uh, then right nearby, there were some, even it looked like older structures that may have been I don't know, maybe 500 to a thousand years old, uh, covered with vegetation and uh, things. So I don't know, maybe this was a, a little monastery or, or something just out in the middle of the woods. Huh. 
you never know what you're gonna find on the Camino. Lots of surprises. And this morning, I mean, look at this. Beautiful fog I'm going to go into, forest, ferns, birds, and beautiful trees. Ah, great morning. The uh, sun is up. Uh, it'll burn the fog off shortly, and then it's gonna get hot. So I really wanna get there early. Uh, there'll be a few places up ahead for breakfast. I'll see how I feel. Um, I want to uh, take breaks. I also don't want to walk in the heat. So we'll see, uh, see how it goes when I get up there. All right, got to watch our step through these uh, branches and rocks. I wish you could smell what I'm smelling. Walking through a eucalyptus forest in the cloud bank. Oh, it is so refreshing. Um, words can't even describe it, but ah, love mornings. Well, you can see the sun is up, but uh, it still hasn't burned off the fog and it's nine o'clock. Huh. I'm very grateful for that because it's keeping the temperature cool and it is beautiful out here. Kind of spooky sometimes. I thought I heard some boars a little while back. I was going through a pretty thick forested area so I picked up a, a stick just in case. Never did see him, but I know there was something out there and it wasn't a cow. <laughs> All right, still haven't found a cafe. Hopefully there's one up ahead. Well, it's not a cafe, but it is a lovely little picnic area, complete with grills and shelter and lots of uh, trash cans. So uh, I'm gonna stop here for a few minutes. Perfect.
सीकार Absolutely beautiful. Well, that uh, certainly, I think, was the most fascinating stop I've ever had on the Camino came upon this little uh, little village, little hamlet. And there's a sign on the door, come on in for a stamp. And there were some other signs about the Camino and, and things. And I thought, oh, okay, it looks safe. So I, I go in and it's like a little garden terrace area. And there's this old man and he makes all these items from, from stone. I mean, he's a sculptor and absolutely amazing. He showed me this one room where even the column was fully carved. Could not believe it. Um, it looked like a lot of iconography from the Celtic tradition even looked a little bit uh, Mayan. Uh, and then uh, you saw him put the stamp in my passport, just a regular stamp and then one with wax. Never had one with wax, very nice. And he uh, apparently from the, the information on the wall outside, uh, he's apparently very famous and has been recognized um, as being part of the Camino. My Spanish isn't that good, so I couldn't read it entirely, but a uh, very kind gentleman. Uh, so when you walk the Camino del Norte, make sure you stop there. You won't be disappointed. So I finally found a cafe, uh, but it's closed. Ah, well. Not that much further um, until I actually finish for the day anyway. But what I've learned uh, recently was that the Spanish government encourages its um, employees, its citizens, to go on holiday in August. Uh, in fact, many businesses actually pay um, a bonus if you go on holiday or even if you walk part of the Camino. So that explains so many Spaniards right now on the Camino and also why many places are closed. Uh, so when you are planning Caminos, uh, you do need to check carefully for local festivals and holidays and uh, when people might be going on vacation. Because uh, unlike America, um, things will shut down to go on holiday. And you know, I have no problem with that. <laughs> I think that's great. You actually uh, have time and it's encouraged uh, to take a break. Okay, so we're still, uh, got the uh, cover from the fog, which is nice. It is starting to warm up a little bit, I can tell. <sighs> but let's go see if we can find another cafe. All right, let's go. statues are in the middle of this field, but they are.
Well, here's my albergue for the night. It is a lovely place. Um, can't say enough about this albergue. It's probably the best I've had on the Camino. Um, you check in at the cafe on the property. Um, great cafe. They have a pilgrim's meal. Uh, the dormitories are in a building in the back. Very modern, very clean. You put your hiking shoes in the cabinet before you go in. And everything is just spotless. Lots of room uh, if you want to cook your meals, have uh, gatherings, little kitchen, microwave, and then uh, an outdoor seating area by the dormitory. Uh, two floors. And um, my floor is on the lower floor, and I've got this first bunk here on the right. Um, I suspect it will be full tonight, and that's okay. Plenty of room. Um, absolutely clean. I can't say enough about it. Nice-sized bathrooms and showers. Uh, men and women are separate. And then uh, there's an outdoor area to hang your clothes. Well, that's it for day 40 on the Camino. I've uh, just had my pilgrim meal. I know it's early, it's only about two in the afternoon, but I really can't eat late and then sleep well. So I've had my main meal for the day and now I will just relax and I may have a little light snack um, in the early evening but I am pretty well done for the day. Tomorrow's a big day. It is um, our last long day on the Camino. Uh, it'll be about 15 miles. So um, need to get rested for that. The feet feel pretty good. Um, I want to make sure I stretch and do some exercises um, to keep them in good shape. Uh, the main thing is to get plenty of rest. My clothes have already dried with the exception of my socks. So they should be dry in a few more hours. And uh, looking forward to it. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, I think we're staying in a um, private hotel hostel that is converted from a monastery, if I remember right. So we'll take a look at that tomorrow when we get there. But thank you again for uh, following along. I hope you've enjoyed this journey as much as I have. And uh, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get uh, notified whenever I post something, all right? Take care. See you tomorrow, day 41.